All right, another before video. Today I'm working on Victor Victrola Model 50. That's the wood box portable. I've put up a number of videos on those. Everybody's favorite. And it is number, let's see, 59,408. And that is 1922. There we go. Patent stickers are pretty close to the actual dates. This one was sold by a Massachusetts uh, music store, if I can get that to focus in. Hiding in Springfield, Massachusetts. Pianos and Victrolas. <laughs> anyway, that's the wood parts. They've all been freshly cleaned. And they're in very good shape. It's oak, of course. I am working indoors today in front of the fire because it's winter and it's nasty with a cold rain outside. Well, we have the motor apart. You can see the greasy mess that the spring is, and this is why... I say over and over again, if you're going to display these machines on a shelf, who cares? But if you're going to play them, you really do need to have these motors serviced, either by yourself or have someone do it. Now, this is a typical spring from the Victor Victrola 50. It's a single spring motor. It's the smallest, single, uh, smallest motor Victor had in 1922. And what do we find here? But a chunk... Uh, that's going to focus. Yeah, it does. You can see right here, there is a chunk missing out of the spring. Something you would never know if you did not take it apart. Now, that might have held for a little while, but eventually it would have snapped all the way through and you'd have a broken motor in, until you replace the spring anyway. Now, new springs are available for these. not even that expensive. They're about 50 bucks. And uh, not really that hard to put in if you're going to start learning how to put a spring in. This is the kind of spring you want to start. The only one I could think of that is smaller and weaker than this one would be uh, like a HMV 101, 102. Those are fairly small springs, but they're small machines. Uh, and uh, they probably should be replaced also with new ones if you get a chance to do that. Here's the can it comes out of, and you can see the disgusting mess that we have in there. It's not as bad as some I've seen. That is fairly liquidy grease, but it's very thick. Very thick and gooey, and with a weak spring like this one is, it, it would hold it up. It would slow it down. You'd get to barely one play out of a, one side of a record out of it. Now, if you look at this spring, the way it sits here on the table, it's just kind of sitting there in a little coil. That's not good. That is a sign of a weak spring. Now, when you buy these things new and you unfold them from the little ring they come clipped in, they're three, they'll spread out three times this size because they have a lot more spring tension in them than this does. This is an original spring. Besides being broken, it's also fairly weak. So this machine is definitely getting a new spring. Not today, but it will be. And uh, this is the motor. We have the motor frame here. Look at all that nasty crud all over it. That's got to be cleaned. 100 years worth of filth on there. Here's the governor, which is not in bad shape. It's greasy, but... The springs are actually in really good shape in this. And all that goo on there kept it nice and shiny. It's in good shape. Nothing's loose on it. Sometimes you find loose screws on these. And what more often what will happen is those one of those three little blue springs you see there will snap. And these big these weights will come off. They'll be rattling around in there. And it won't be operating properly. That's going to get cleaned. We have all the gears and the clips. And there's a good look at the rest of the motor parts in there. You can see nothing complex. That's basically all the gears, all the shafts. There's a little bearing in there. Now, this machine, interestingly enough, had been upgraded to the Victrola 4A reproducer. Unfortunately, not the 4. Had it been the 4, this would be all brass and you wouldn't see that pile of broken crap that you see there now. This is a 4A. And it was made from pot metal that swelled and cracked with age. And eventually, it just crumbled right apart. I mean, I could salvage a few parts out of that, but for the most part, even if I glued it back together, it would still be swollen out of shape and completely useless. The back on this is okay. It's a little bit uh, swollen also, and I'm not entirely sure you could actually get anything on there. You can see, uh, see where does it say 4A? You see the A on there? Victrola, well, A4, right there. That... A indicates that it is, see, I get that. it's got to be a better picture of that. 
It is pot metal. Here we go. 4A, pot metal, which was perfectly fine in 1925 or 26, and this was upgraded, but not so good now, all these years later, because it's falling apart. I'll salvage a diaphragm out of there. Needle bar is still good. I do have some old brass fours I could use on this, but I'm going to simply replace it with the original number two reproducer this would have come with, or rather the exhibition. 1922, this would have still come with the exhibition, and the number two would have been a uh, dealer available upgrade had you wanted it. So one or the other will go back in here, and they play perfectly well in the in this particular model machine, the Victor Vitrola 50. And there's all the little nuts, bolts, screws, everything else in there. Nice machines to work with. You know, that there's just not that many complicated parts here, and they look really nice. They play nicely. Let's see, behind me here. There is the box. It's in very good shape, you can see. And uh, that is the original finish. I, I cleaned it very gently, and it came out very nice. It was just layers of dirt, dust, and debris on there. And you can see there's some scrapes and boo-boos here and there, but that's normal. Nothing really to be concerned about there. And we'll get this back together over the next few weeks, and I'll have it playing, and that'll be another video. Gear looks pretty good there, too. Put that in there for cleaning. I'll scrub all that. With degreaser, get all that crud off of there and make it look nice. Put the new spring in, adjust everything, put it back together, and uh, it'll be ready to go. And that's it for today. That's our look at a disassembled Victor Vitrola 50 and why you should always clean your motors and take your springs out and inspect them, have a good look at them, replace them. This is why, right here. Picture speak a thousand words.